I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm going to get you high today. Because it's Friday. You ain't got no job. And you ain't got shit to do. Radio. It's your girl Shonda and we are back as TGIF Radio, TGIF Podcast. We got Chris James in the building. What's we good? got my boy KG. What's in good? The What's building. going on, KG? It's popping What's off. Up? It's a beautiful Friday today. <laughs> we gonna turn up. We gonna have fun. It's gonna For be sure. lit. It's been a while. Yo, what's up? What's been going on with everybody? Man, it's been it's been crazy. You know, going back and forth, trying to find jobs and stuff out here, yeah. trying to struggle and grind. The struggle yeah, and I've grind. Been doing that, trying to get it how I live, pretty right. much. Yeah, on the grind. Exactly. Yo, I'm so happy to have all my people here with me. KG, this our new person. He rocking with us. Everybody, please, you know, clap your hands, introduce us. Yes, yes. KG, go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell everybody who you are, who you is. All right, my name is KG, K Slim Jim G. Pretty much on Instagram, you can find me on Facebook at K Quinn. Um, pretty much, you know, I'm just I'm, I'm getting it how I live. 29 years old, trying to you know make it in this world. You know what I'm saying? I'm an actor. I'm a model. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty much just out here trying to be on the grind, like I said, with my peoples. I'm excited to be here. So All right. yeah, let's that's get what's it up. That's so that's what's up, bro, man. We got yeah, we, we got a dope to. episode planned for y'all. Yeah, we about to be lit up there. It's, it, it's about to be lit, man. Like I said, it's Friday. We like to celebrate Friday. Been working hard Monday through Friday. Turn off all the week. <laughs> Cheers to the week. Cheers to the weekend. We about to go turn off the lights and sip a couple of glasses for y'all. All right? We're going to go ahead and jump into our first topic. All right. We definitely want to get started. All these sexual allegations, man. It's, it's like a trend these days. Russell Simmons stepped down today from his empire due to sexual allegations. Do anybody have any opinions about that? What do you guys think? What's going on? This is on? the craziest thing about it. You remember just like last month we was watching that Def Jam anniversary thing on oh, Netflix? Oh, yeah. I was thinking about that yesterday. I was like, man, that just tarnished that whole, <laughs> that whole His special. His whole legacy is almost tarnished, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, it's crazy, man. But at the crazy. same time, it's like, you know, you can't argue with it. You know, we, we really can't like put up with this kind of stuff no more. It's, I honestly think it's just a trend. And just every time you turn around, it's always something about a, a allegation or a sexual allegation. It's like, what's next? Tomorrow morning is going to be another, you know, allegation right. for Michael Jordan this time, for instance. Right. I don't right. know. It's like, who, who who to pick? It's like, who's the lucky <laughs> drawing? Like, come on now. I don't know. I'm not saying that none of this is true. I mean, so everything is true and then it's not true. But at the same time, it's like, is this a trend? Right, yeah. So... Yeah, yeah I, I definitely understand. So hopefully, um, it's just like it's okay that you know people is coming out. They finally got the courage, but it's like okay, what's going to be done about it? Because right, at yeah. the end of the day, they're going to go on with their lives. They still got their money. They still got their hoes. They right, still got right. that. They businesses. They businesses. Oh, oh, right. I butchered that word. <laughs> businesses. <laughs> but word it. around the block. About to jump into that segment real quick. Prince Harry. Oh, the also oh, fine Prince Harry with the. With the red hair proposed to his black girlfriend, y'all. We about to have some black people in the British uh, Empire. Royalty. Black British. Royalty. Woo! How do you guys Wait. feel about that? I mean, a lot of people say she ain't black. She black. She. You know, oh yeah, no, she black. Yeah. She black. Black. She, black. Yeah, she likes. Skin, black. She black. Black. Ah! Shout out to Prince Harry. He know what's up. Once you go black, you never you go never go back. 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 <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right, moving forward. I don't know if y'all know about this topic, but Eli Manning, the brother of Pay Manning, he is salty as hell about getting bitch. He played for the New York Giants. He's an elite quarterback. They, I think they were one and eight this season, and they bitched his eight. ass two and eight this season. He is salty as fuck. Mm-hmm. So we definitely gonna keep our eyes. Open on that. But I mean, Open. can, can oh. you? Well, I was gonna say, can you blame them? I mean, he he ain't been pulling. You know, uh, Manning numbers this season. He sure has. You, you can't be two and eight and be mad. You know, is but, it his fault or is it like maybe, the whole I'm not gonna say it's his fault, oh, but okay. at the same time, the coach I mean, got to like, do what the coach got to do. You know, bum team. It's like, and what does yeah. the coach got to do? 
Uh, yeah. what, what does the coach got to do? That's, that's, that's a good question. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Before LeBron James, he was ejected from his first game yesterday. Um, it's, it's big because, you know, he's been in the league probably, what, 12, 13 years? 14. This is 14 years. And this is his first time getting ejected from a game. Uh, the referee said he was hot, about to grade fight him, etc. I love LeBron James. Shout out to LeBron James. A lot of people hate him. I'm a big Steph Curry fan, but LeBron James does a lot for the culture. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move forward to the 2017 Grammy nominations. Your girl, Bodak Yellow, is nominated for Twice. two awards. What? Twice. See Hardy B? B? You what? gave up. For, uh, for no reason. You won. Yeah. Hey. Cardi B from Love and Hip Hop New York. Yeah. With the fucked up teeth, but she got that bag and she, she fixed got that her teeth. Shout right. out to Cardi B. <laughs> Yeah. Shout, out. Shout out to Cardi B. Yeah. That bitch worked hard. Like, she, she was a stripper, and look where she she's at. True. And, I mean, she's I can't engaged. Blame. That whole living her best life right now. <laughs> <laughs> she, I ain't yeah. mad at it. I, can't I ain't mad at it. I, can't, I mean, you can't, yeah, you can't, I can't really can't, hate on her. I can't hate I can't hate on her, her, you know. But congratulations, congratulations. on this Congratulations. Hell, yeah, she motivated me. She is. All right. Shit. Jay-Z, we all know Jay-Z was going to get nominated. He got nominated for 444. Migos got nominated. Kendra Lamar nominated. Sid. Is it's gonna be hard. Childish Gabino, Rhapsody, which was very surprising. Shout out to Rhapsody and Bruno Mars. We already know that little nigga was about to get nominated. Right, right yeah. <laughs> he was sliding across he the been, yeah, And he's... he been on tour for like a whole year. Oh, right, so. exactly. Yeah. He, there was no way he wasn't gonna. No be. way at all. We definitely want to move forward to the BET Soul Awards. I, I didn't get the chance to watch it, but I went back and watched some of the hottest clips. The Tony Braxton tribute was amazing. Tony Braxton looked good as hell, and she was, you know. Um, what's that one song? So how, how was that Tony Braxton? Um, because I really didn't get a chance to tune in uh, pretty much just yet either. But I heard it was amazing. Amazing. Oh, it was lit. Let me tell you what Tony. Tony had that little lace front. Oh, wing, come on, Tony! Straight to the back. <laughs> she was seen on her little jeans. She was like, no, shut up. Yes. <laughs> come on, Tony. <laughs> me last. See Tamar. Yes. Tamar, you know she going through a divorce, baby. Tamar about to get oh, her really? life when she divorced uh, uh, Vince. You know she is. Uh-huh. She had life. that wig on, looking Bell- like uh, uh Black uh, Widow. <laughs> <laughs> like a widow that with the wind orange, was huh? Full. It was nice. <laughs> it was full. It was going in the wind. You know, Tony gave me a mic, and that bitch was singing a couple of notes as well. So, hey, I fuck with the Braxes. They very talented. Tank, though. Tank did the sexy ass performance. You know, the second half of Tank, the way I'm savage, is just nasty as hell. Like, so, <laughs> he, he, he did his thing. He snatched his little shirt off. Come on with the snatch shirt. About, uh, baby, I could be a savage. All that stuff. Oh, he want to be a savage. Oh, yeah. Come on, Tank. You know he's yeah, from Milwaukee. Oh, for real? I didn't know okay, that. Okay, shout out to Milwaukee. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. Yes, Tank, Come is on, the, Tank. Tank is the man right there. That's the dude. Yeah, he killed We got to move on, though, to the Avengers. The Avengers oh. dropped their trailer, and it is dope as fuck. I'm thinking right. about getting the Avengers tattoo. That's how dope right, it is. Right. <laughs> and, like, that's how dope it is. This movie looks so epic because you know yeah. they've been setting it up for the last 10 years. For the years. last, right. And right. it, they... The Guardians of the Galaxy, the Black Panther, Spider Man, right. Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, Captain Harrison. America, Captain Everybody. America there with the Doctor beard. Strange. Yep. I don't yep. fuck with Doctor Strange. Yeah, I don't even know who that <laughs> nigga is, but he, he hey, but he in there though. He's pretty strange. I, look, I ain't even seen that movie, but he I gotta, in there. You know, go back. Play. I mean, it's decent. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm they got everybody excited. though. Yeah. yeah. So yo, we about to hop into some real quick. You listen to Ten and Up Radio, Facebook, Tumblr, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Shonda. Time to do dirty dishes. Time to do dirty dishes. Nick say they want you, but they don't want you. Time to do dirty dishes. Nick say they with you, but they ain't really with you. Had enough these niggas, niggas. Had enough you bitches. Time to stack that dough. Time to do the dirty dishes. Time to do the dirty dishes. Nick swear they with you, they ain't really with you. Nick's plan to go hard, yeah. they ain't really doing shit I'm from the north side, yeah. family built on bricks yeah. Step out of the line, line. mouth will meet my fist Like the Nick's you miss, add you to the list Who the, who the, who you fucking with? I don't play that shit, you a scary bitch Make you bleed like you're on your period My gang gang, now some serious we don't play no games, knock you off your squirt Pull up on your skirt, please don't go over there Draco, a heavy sand, whoop like red flag My Draco, a heavy sand, whoop like red flag Had enough of you niggas, had enough of you bitches Time to stack that dough, time to do the dirty dishes 
Yeah. Time to do the dirty dishes. Niggas say they with you, but they ain't really with you. Yeah. Had enough of these niggas, niggas, had enough of you bitches. bitches. Time to stack that dough, time to do the dirty dishes. Yeah. dishes. Time to do the dirty dishes. Yeah. Niggas swear they with you, uh. they ain't really with you. No. Bitches all so fake, uh. I don't trust these hoes. Yeah. They all up front, uh. everything for show. Uh. I don't need bad vibes, uh. all I want is the good. Yeah. I'm a bad and butcher chick, yeah. quick class from the hood. Yeah. I got the moves. I move like Mick Jagger yeah. Get the thug in on that ass Stab you with the dagger I let loose Bad bladder About cheese Green packer Yeah, don't worry about me Just worry about you Yeah, we eating out here Talk more than food Yeah, I'ma wait to the top And I can't be stopped uh, Get in my way, you will be popped Got screen calls uh, Like it's a job They try to play me like my name's Rob, no, I ain't Rob, ain't Rob. I kill shit, yeah. You find out, uh. Fuck with me, bitch. Had enough of you niggas, niggas. Had enough of you bitches, bitches. Time stack that dough, yeah. Time to do the dishes, dishes, dishes. Yeah. Time to do the dishes, dishes. Niggas say they with you, but they ain't really with you. Yeah. Had enough of these niggas, niggas. Had enough of you bitches, bitches. Time stack that dough, dough. Time to do the dishes, yeah. Some do the dirty dishes. Yeah. Think it's where they witch. Uh. They ain't really witch. No. Yo, what's up? We back, y'all. You was just listening to my song, Shine Down. Dirty Dishes. I got a new project coming out. Executive, executive produced by Chris James. Um, but we about to hop back right into the show. So this is the topic of the day that we want to discuss. It's called Corporate America Blues. How do y'all feel about that title? I think it's lit. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It definitely needs to be talked about <laughs> yeah. way more than it Man. is. Man, do anybody else want to start first? You know, start, you know, things off first? Or uh, who would like to go? You go first. Yeah, I think you can speak it. Yeah, All right, so first. basically the reason why I thought about this topic because I recently got a new job working at this corporate building don't get it twisted i'm not you know working corporate but i'm at the very bottom of the the food chain and it's like you can definitely see see it and you can see how people who is you know who got the corporate jobs who got the salaries they definitely treat you different they got their nose stuck up and it's just it's just been an experience where it makes me angry frustrated and it's very annoying speak um i see like how white people um, they have more freedom at work. Yeah. You know, they can do more things, but when a black person does it, they, they are on our back. They want to pull us in the office. Right. Um, the white little hoes flirting with the big boss and the boss. I can see why all these people have all these sexual allegation cases because right. at work, they're not having professional uh, relationships. relationships. Exactly. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's getting to the point where the lines are blurred and it makes right. me upset because here I am, I just graduated college as everybody know i just graduated still got a job in my career and i'm looking over here and look like sally over here about to suck dick in order for her to you know <laughs> climb the corporate ladder right. and i'm over here trying to bust my ass trying to pay back six hundred dollars worth of student loans each month oh my goodness trying to True. make it and it's just like it's frustrating and i just thought it was a serious topic to talk about being black while working in corporate america it's hard i feel like white people i was for one example i was using the restroom and um you know, um, if you don't know how I look, I'm black, light skin, I'm big, big girl, big butt, I'm tall. A lot of people say that I may come off as, you know, a lot of people may be scared of me, but I'm a very friendly person. And so I was in the bathroom, I came out, washed my hands, and it was like three uh, Martha Stewart's in there. <laughs> and um, they were so rude to me. They all looked at me like, what the fuck she's doing here? And it was just wait, a very wait. awkward experience. You were in an employee bathroom, uh huh. And they was looking at you like, "What is you doing there?" Yeah, Not, like, as if you like, wasn't an employee. Exactly. Basically, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's how crazy. they were looking at me. So it, it made me feel real uncomfortable, and it's just like I feel like I had to conform. I right. have I have to act white, or I can't yeah. be myself at work. You no, definitely fuck have that. To, fuck to, that. To, no, to fuck succeed. that. Be you yourself. Definitely have to. And well, like, no, yeah, you need to be yourself. But like, for one, one of the biggest problems that I have is the. The, having to conform because you 
you'll never feel comfortable in your own in your own skin the way the current corporate America climate is. Like it's just not. Man, it's tough. Unless you're white, I feel like that's just one another aspect of white privilege. It's like you can be up in them offices and be comfortable doing what you want. Man, you know? and let me tell you, all the white people there, they got well, not all the white people. Everybody got their hair dyed some type of color, but you know the white people got their hair. It's this my one big boss. She is part of corporate. She, this bitch went out and dyed her hair blue and black. Looking like one of the motherfucking Hocus Pocus sisters and shit. Right. From fucking now, Hocus Pocus. <laughs> <laughs> now, if it was me. Definitely nailed it. If I would have did that, it would it probably wouldn't have been appropriate. Or they'd be you know, looking at ghetto. All right, type yeah. ghetto. Ghetto. Right. And, that's that's, word. And, and I'm just sitting here looking like, well, how is that appropriate for her to be, you know, to have the position she had to go do something like that? But if I know I did it, it would have been they like. Be turning noses and looking all man, sideways. Right. It's frustrating. It's definitely frustrating when you're trying to, like, make it into the middle class and then you're seeing how easy it is for Sally right. and you think about your own situation you sit here Sally ain't got a care in the world she you know dancing hopping high five but they everybody. said little Sally was walking down the street and she didn't know what to do so she jumped in front of me so they said, "Go on, girl, shake that thing." But I guess that's what Sally was doing, huh? <laughs> but I did want to. I did want to mention, mom, mom didn't, moms didn't raise no racists, and moms didn't raise no fools. Right. Yeah. And I know, I know, as a black man in America, as a black person, an African American individual, I have to work ten times as harder. Yeah. Right. Than a Caucasian um, individual. Right. Yeah. And I work in a corporate office too, and I'm not a, a court have a corporate position, but at the same time, I do notice a lot of like side um, looks, and you know, nose turn up as if they're superior over you. Right. And you know what I'm saying? And I'm not always trying to make like that just into a race uh, topic, but at the right. same time, it is what it is. It is what right. the motherfucking is. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. So I know a lot of um, us can relate to this topic, and it needs to be spread um, around the world, and it, it needs to be talked about right. because in a black corporate um, America, um, a lot of people are not uh, informed about what's going on, or they maybe don't have people exactly. to talk to. Exactly, and so. I think it was so shocking. You think as you get older and you you know continue to grow, you think it gets better. You don't think right, you're gonna yeah, deal right. with the same shit you've been dealing with while you was working at a McDonald's right, right, exactly. at the age of seventeen. Right. You True. know, you think it. You know, so like when you finally out of college, you're in the real world and you like experience this shit for the. It, it just hits you. Right. Like, exactly. The shit hits you like a Mike Tyson punch back in 1992. Right. Yeah. And you just sit here like, wow, this is this is the reality of corporate america and it, yep. it hurt it kind of sucked because you're looking like man right. i thought you know i thought at least it's gonna have a fair shot like i'm educated you know right. that that don't mean anything it's like if i don't dress a certain way look a certain way that's it you know i got i'm gonna get the, the looks from the martin stewart's who looking at me like who the fuck are you why are you doing what are you doing here right. like yesterday for example um like i said i got natural hair and Ladies, you already know if you got natural hair, you got to keep that shit up like almost every day. You ain't got the time. <laughs> no you be natural. trying to figure out all type of shit. So I was like, you know, I'm going to wear a scarf. So I wore a scarf and I was kind of thinking about it before I even put it on. I was like, man, first of all, it's a blue scarf. I hope these bitches don't think I'm a crib. Then oh, I was like, I didn't want to look ghetto. But right. at the end of the day, I still was perceived that I look ghetto with the scarf on my head. And that's what I didn't want. But... It is tough, man. Like, how can you succeed? How can you succeed in corporate America, not just being black, young? Let's just say, let's just put race out of it. Just being young and a millennial. How do you right. succeed and then? Not, hey, America. not just young, but also broke. Because like the, another thing and where I can't it doesn't even afford to dress like and, yeah, I can't dress. even afford exactly. I can't afford to have because I can't. I'm, <laughs> I can't afford exactly. The slacks and exactly. Shit I can't afford up. slacks you and penny loafers. From the goodwill, you know, you know, you know that good thrift hey, shopping girl. Love, if you don't know, you better know. I'll take you. Hey, I love thrifting, but it's a little harder to find some good thrift clothes for like right. plus size. Right. Right. I feel you. Yeah, right. Because I love thrifting. Don't get me wrong. Well, you, you mentioned something about the uh, dressing, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I went to a job interview, not going to say the place, but um, it was for a store uh, manager position. Mm -hmm. It was about like eighteen, nineteen dollars an hour. Now I'm dressed to motherfucking impress. I yes. tell you that. Uh -huh. Sharp button up slacks, nice little shoes. I think that I had some Chelsea shoes on that day too. Okay. I was looking real nice, I cut, love clean. And you know, <laughs> a white girl, Caucasian woman, came in too for the interview, same interview. So I interviewed with the the lady that was interviewing. This was about my second interview. Uh huh. Um, because I had about two more to go, 
And the lady was um, interviewing me. She, we kicked it off. I thought she liked me. I answered my, uh, you know, the questions very well. And right. uh, my resume added up. And next thing you know, I guess the uh, Caucasian girl went in and she called me the day after and was like, um, I just don't think you're fit for the uh, the position. And honestly, I think I worked my damn my ass off on that interview and I think yeah. I right. deserved that spot. But I just, I think to myself, like as an African-American uh, guy in this, white world as you say caucasian world i feel like sometimes i'm i'm held back for right. yeah. who i am i smile because you know, something because you can't control can't something that right. i can't control at the same yeah. time they're, i feel like two one that's me like we're awesome. smart and some people are yeah. very 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 um intimidated by, by african americans uh -huh. especially if you're With knowledgeable and uh -huh. if you're like yes. outgoing Definitely, if you're not yeah. like one of those people who's just like all to themselves because i'm not like yeah. if i have a opinion i'm going to state it if you do something wrong to me i'm the one and be like hey i don't care if you was the ceo i'm like bob can i see you know can we get some time to talk for a second i want to let you know i didn't appreciate right. that's right. just how that's who i am Right. I don't like to sweep go. stuff over. I, I mean, under fine. the rug. I like to, you know, say so you know uh, how I feel, even if you don't care. Because if you sweep it under the world, it's gonna still be there at the end of the day. Right. Yeah, so the what day, about right. when the rug moves? And we got <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna still be or there. Or you got lumps, lumps all in the rug. Right. You gotta flatten that motherfucker out. Right. Well, yeah. It's. Uh, I wanted to touch on what you're talking about your interview because, like, I. Shan knows definitely what I've been going through when it comes to like trying to find a job and how. Every single job or every single people uh, person that calls me, I, I hear the exact same thing over and over and over again. It's the exact same conversation over and over again, and it goes nowhere. And then if it does get to an interview, you, I could go to two, three, four interviews and yep. still hear the same thing. Yep. Oh, well, we don't think you're qualified for the position, even though I don't spend all my time and money getting get prepared to try exactly. and impress them. So it is definitely. And then the another problem is. I, I have experienced myself at the last job that I was at that there were people who weren't as qualified as me and they were still highly favored over me. Yep. So it's like sometimes you can't even win for losing damn because if you do, damn if you don't. Right, exactly. <laughs> like you could be qualified and they want you to be even more qualified just to compete with somebody who's less qualified than you. Yep. And sometimes you overqualified. How the fuck are you overqualified? And right. how the hell yep. do, can you be qualified for a job if you don't hire a motherfucker? Thank you. <laughs> like, I don't get it. Straight up. I don't get it. And it's just like, okay, they they want you to dress a certain way. I, and I'm just saying, people got their own work culture. It's different environments. You do got to dress up. But it's like, I can't, I can't afford to dress up. Right. I can't. That's and then they're not I'm even like, paying you enough. It's like, they, they want you... To be able to go the whole hundred yards, but not without no shoes. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, like, Say it. Me, Say it. I don't even have benefits at all. I don't have no type of benefits. Right. I can't request a day off. Right. I my off days. I got one in the middle of the week. One on. I don't even have two off days off together. So it's just like it's just like what what do you guys expect me to do? And it's just like they don't expect you to do nothing. If you at the bottom, you know, I would say probably. 20% of the people who's at the bottom actually probably get promoted and work their way right. you know, to a corporate position. Right. Mm. But other than that, it's like it's almost, it's like a cycle. It's like they keep you there. Yep. You know, you're you're dis 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 what is it? Dispendable? Expendable. Expendable. Um, it's you're easy to replace. It's right. hard to replace Joe in the finance section. You know what I'm saying? And that's but, you know that that gets to something that it's not necessarily something that is attributed to race, but race definitely plays a factor because black people experience it more often and it's the fact that a lot of these companies nowadays don't even want to bother actually committing to their employees they'd rather just get a whole wave of contractors have them do what they do and then kick them out until the next time the peak season comes around and so you, when when you're when you're black and a millennial and you you know just out of college trying to get your foot in the door it's like it, it's almost like you you have the ability to get the experience or get where you need to go, but it's gonna be at a snail's pace now yep. because no company really wants to bother. And I and don't nobody want to train. I just feel I, I just don't know how I, I feel right now. I just feel so behind. Crazy. It's like yeah. there's no way I got two degrees, and I'm not just on the degrees to make anybody else feel bad or anything. But I'll bust my ass right. to do that, right. and it wasn't easy. And I did that because I was told. That's how you get a good job. That's how you get the house with the white picket fist. That's how you, you're able to take care of yourself and your family. 
these days we can barely even take care of ourselves right back in right. the 90s having two jobs that mean you know you you had two jobs because you you felt like working two jobs exactly right. you know now we're working two or three jobs because we, we ain't got, got no choice to. right, right. we can't even live our life <laughs> right. we can't right. even enjoy That's, life that is we can't life. even enjoy right. our family we yep. can't enjoy friends we Preach. can't enjoy anything say it and it's just like i just don't understand i just it sucks and I, I really I don't know don't. what else to expect. It's, it's just like I want to work for myself. Right. <laughs> I want to oh, yeah. create my own work culture. True. Right, exactly. Because it's just like it's it's not a good feeling. Every day you got to go somewhere and put on a mask. Right. Yeah. Can't even be yourself. But you looking at um Brittany and Sally and David over there. They just living life. You right. know, free. They look like they ain't right. got no care in the world. Exactly. Fucking the head boss like. Right. I ain't even got the option to fuck the head boss because he probably not even attracted <laughs> right. to my black ass. So that's going on in the, it's definitely going on in the world now. Maybe closer than you expected. Right. right. So, so mm. I just yeah. thought it was a good topic to talk about, but like how can we change it? Or is it ever gonna change? I don't I don't think it's in my opinion, I don't want to change it. I want to just do my own thing and be, you know, going about my day. I don't want to. I'm not the conformist type of person, so it's like, what's the point in putting all this effort into trying to make them change their ways that they've been doing for a day, you know, a century? What's what? Why even? Why even fight that fight? You you're better off fighting for yourself. Well, nah, let's say we don't conform, but you know what we gotta do? We gotta play the game. And we got to beat them at the game. Because right. that's they, what it is. At their game. At right. their game. It's a game. And we yeah. got to beat it. Because we can't just say we, you know, can't conform a little bit. And then our ass is still broke two, three years later. Like, we yeah. we want to at least be making 35, 40, 45, 50,000 at some point in our lives. Some point. You know, that's the thing. I was hoping like, to make that right out of college. You got to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's why I went to college. Oh, man. Not at some point. It was supposed to be immediate, you know? Well, not immediate, but, but eventually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was that song? I was like, uh... I'm going to keep on the push. And keep on the talk. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna let nobody. But oh it's Lord. like we're going through the same thing as, as our ancestors, but it's yep. not, um, it's different. Yeah. It's more, uh, it's corporate, it's political, it's like traps. It's, History you know, definitely does repeat itself and fashion. Yep. Yeah. So, so I just thought yeah. it was a good topic. Um, if anybody. Feel free to comment under this, underneath this post if you agree, disagree, um, or even under the mistletoe because it is Christmas. <laughs> uh, we would love to what? hear it's your no, opinion. No, oh wait, no. what? What? I, I what you, wait, what you say? That was November. Oh, <laughs> it well, it's November, December first tomorrow. You know, That's the only the reason I said season. you know the holiday cheer. Right, you can be under the mistletoe season? now. Right. I always wanted to be under the damn mistletoe, wait, but that's a whole story. What? What? It is the first. Today is Friday. Right. Oh right. yeah. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Slaw, but. <laughs> but that's yeah. the topic. <laughs> that's the topic for today. Um, as far as the solutions, we don't got no solutions right now. Maybe we can interview somebody who worked for a corporate. I mean, you don't have to say where you work or anything like that. But right, right. It would be nice to you know hear from their end of the spectrum. Right. Because I'm not Definitely. gonna say everybody should you know just. It's some people who there look like they just want to stay at the bottom. You know? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not, they're not fine. Yeah, they're not, right. it's okay right, with them. Yeah. For them. It's some people who want more. Right, right. People, more life, more everything. That's exactly. Right, yeah. So, uh, that's it. That's the topic for today. We definitely want to say thank you for listening to TGIF Radio. Whoop, whoop. I am Sean Don. Yeah, what up, Chris James, right here. And this KG. Thank y'all so much. Make sure you stay tuned to not next Friday, but the Friday after next. We got some more dope shows next. coming to well, you what? guys. Um, <laughs> if anybody want to get interviewed, you know, hit me up, TGIF radio 615 at gmail.com follow me shondon989 on all social media tgif on all social media we thank y'all hopefully y'all enjoyed the show peace I'm peace out. we out T-T-T-T-T-T-G-I-F radio